Hey there everyone, Hatesh here and welcome to the MongoDB series. First thing first, hit that subscribe. Now let's go ahead and move forward. So in this video, we are going to fire up our shell and we are going to try to replicate uh, one of these scenarios. I'm not going to initially mention that I'm replicating this scenario or this scenario. Again, I will be drifting a little bit from this exact example because we definitely can cook up a better example than this one. And we're going to be working on that. So all we need to do now is just minimize this one. And I've already got my terminal shell or command prompt, whatever you call that, is up and running. And we're going to go ahead and say Mongo. In case your shell is not coming up, hey, why are you watching the video in just in between? Watch the videos where I've mentioned the installation process and all the debugging and all the stuff. So go ahead and there. Okay. So now uh, let's create a scenario. Okay. So why not we take YouTube as a scenario? We're going to have a database which we will be creating for YouTube because why not? Now, this is not going to be a database with thousands of values, just one and two, so that we can understand the example perspective here. And uh, let's just say when we are designing a database for YouTube, uh, there are definitely two things which everybody likes to do. One is registration of the user itself, and another is the video itself. Now, obviously, as a big nerd, it might think that, uh, you know what, we will be creating a separate for a separate document for user and a separate document for video. Okay, good approach. Uh, good start there. So let's go ahead and try to see that what are the problems that we face and how we can actually do this and how we can actually craft a database so that one database is actually one document is able to connect it with another document here as well. So let's go ahead and do that. And again, this is one to one uh, relation using reference or IDs, whatever you like to call them. Okay. So let's use a database. We're going to call this as YouTube because why not? And we're going to be creating this database on the fly. So there we go. This is like the basic stuff. And now we are going to be creating a couple of document inside that. So let's just say we are going to be creating a DB users. Of course, YouTube is going to have users. And then we are going to call insert one. There we go. I'm going to just start this here. I will end it a little bit later so that I can hit enter. If I don't hit enter on this one, it's going to be just one long string, very hard to read. So what are the things you expect in while inserting a value into the users? Definitely a lot more information that we are going to enter here. Uh, we are going to be just entering very few here. So let's just say it expects us to pass on a name. Okay, we can put a comma. Then let's just assume email, username, password, uh, surname, a lot of things have been entered at this moment. Let's assume that. And then comes up is video video there we go now video is usually going to be if i have to design this usually video is going to be an array of these objects and each object is going to have some value like topic and uh, let's just have fun topic here so this is literally going to be a fun topic whatever the name of the video is and let's just say we expect one more information which is going to be length and we are taking the length in minutes so four is here okay so there we go, we have entered the two crucial information because user is there and he's associated with some video as well. So we are taking that information into the video itself as well. Now we're gonna close this by having a curly brace and then a parenthesis and hit enter and there we go. So now we have a user document which is holding up information about user as well as well as its video. It's pretty amazing. Whenever you can visit onto a user's page, you will be able to fetch up all the information very, very easily. Just call to that particular user. In fact, we can do that. We can simply call uh, something like this db dot uh, and then we have to call users. We definitely should have called it as YouTubers, uh, but db dot users dot find and uh, we can actually look for find one. We definitely can pass on some parameter like I want to pass on or I want to find all the users, uh, which name is Hitesh or something like that. Let's just say you have given that, we have already discussed that part. So now you are able to find that user. And that's pretty amazing if you're displaying the whole list of users here and what are the videos user has uploaded. But it has a problem if you want to fetch up onto the homepage, let's just say on the homepage, you just want to fetch all the list of videos. Then in this case, you have to fire up a query for that particular, bring all the user here and then nitpick the data of the video itself. And then it's, it's a messy situation. You know that you got it. 
So we're going to be deleting that and we will be now crafting it into a different way. Okay, so let's just go ahead and delete that. So we're going to say db dot users uh, dot delete many and we are going to be deleting everybody. So just pass on these empty ones. There we go. Acknowledge true. So let's hit control L. So there we go. Our entire thing is empty now. Okay, so now what we have to do in this case, we will be separating the user and the video itself. And we need to learn how we can link them up as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So this time, uh, let's just call this as db uh, dot. And instead of calling it users, you definitely can call it again users. There's no problem in that. Uh, but I'm going to call this as persons just to have fun, just to mess around. And we're going to say insert one. There we go put a, this one and I'm gonna hit enter so that it's much more readable. So definitely it's going to have a name. So let me enter my name. There we go. Okay, put a comma and a couple of more information just for fun is verified, which is going to be true. Put a comma and of course everybody's favorite earning. Uh, let's just say we are picking up the earnings in dollars. So let's just say, uh, just give or take $3,000. Okay, looks pretty good. And uh, now we can put up the ending curly brace and this guy. So there we go, hit enter. And there we go, acknowledge true. And we have got this object ID. Now this object ID is a reference node of whatever you are creating. So I'm gonna copy this. In case the copy feature is not available on your terminal, it is sometimes the case on Windows. So I highly recommend to use something like Git Bash, which is a shell, much more friendly than the Windows shell. Otherwise, you have to manually write it, no other way. We definitely are going to learn other ways of referencing these IDs and all, but that's gonna come up a little bit later, not right now. Okay, so we have now got one document, persons, which holds up the entire information about persons. Now we need to create another one, which is going to be videos, my favorite. And we're going to say insert one, Again, start this, start this, and hit enter so that we can have it. Now, of course, our video is going to have topic, which is going to be, uh, let's just say, fun, fun one. And let's hit a comma. And then we need to provide a length as well, because why not? There we go. Let's just say this video is four minutes long. And the most important part is, we need to provide some kind of thing, like uh, let's just call it as owner, or we can call it as creator, uh, whatever you like whatever you like. But the whole idea is after the colon, you have to write this entire object ID and including this object ID as well, because it's not about just the string. This object ID method is also important. Remember, I told you that MongoDB doesn't store everything as JSON, rather it's a BSON, which is a little bit advanced than JSON, a little bit more functionality. This is exactly that functionality. Okay. Now this is all done, then you can just close this with a curly brace and a pair of parentheses, and there we go. So now this object ID is here and uh, we can just find it here. So we're gonna say uh, db dot uh, videos, db dot videos dot ins, not insert, we want to find here, find one and there we go. So if we do that, notice here, creator is being found with an object ID. And uh, therefore this object ID and this object ID is equally uh, exactly the same. We can craft our query in such a way that whenever we want to just find out who is the creator of this one, based on this ID, we can find it. But how we can do that? For that, we need to uh, learn a little bit more about examples. So this is your basic example of how we can have two documents and one document is linked with another document using IDs, okay? Uh, this is all, let's just not mess around with this one example. You got it, you now understand how to create two documents and link one document with another using the IDs. That's all what we wanted to do. Now, how we can run the queries and all this stuff, for that we have to create a database, almost similar to videos and all this fun stuff. We will be doing that in the next video. Let's keep it short and simple. In case you haven't hit the subscribe, you definitely should. And that's it for this one. Let's catch up in the next one.